after uh, 25 years of being in New York City, uh, I decided to move to Midcoast, Maine. And uh, mainly because my partner uh, passed away uh, of a heart attack very suddenly. And I felt that I had really sort of finished what I wanted to do in New York City. And uh, so I moved to uh, Rockport, Maine, which is very beautiful. It's on the coast and, and it has a wonderful school, Maine Media College here. And so I, I already had a, a base of like-minded artists um, in the community. And I had a son who had children here, young children. And so that's what fascinated with uh, me with coming to Maine. And, and that was the second best decision I ever made in my life. Uh, so uh, no, the third, let's see, going to France was the best decision um, and getting that scholarship. Then going um, to uh, Washington DC and being able to do my master's degree there and move up the, the rank to teaching in college and then going to New York, then going to uh, Midcoast Maine. But everyone knows the winters are hard in, in the North, whether it's in uh, Boston or Maine. Uh, and so I decided I would look around in uh, West Palm Beach because I'd been teaching in West Palm Beach um, for about 10 years then. And so I knew the area and knew that it would be pleasant. And so now I spend uh, time in, in uh, Florida in the winter and I love it. And I have a whole, I have a wonderful gallery there, the Holden Lutz Gallery, which is on Worth Avenue. And, uh, you know, in Palm Beach, and I have a wonderful group of, of uh, creative friends. And so it's, it's a wonderful way of, of uh, splitting my, my time. I love living uh, in West Palm Beach. I love the multi-ethnic feeling. I, I love the fact that I can walk to the Norton Museum, that I can walk to the Four Arts Society and sit in their beautiful gardens and meditate or, you know, it's a perfect, perfect uh, counter, you know, it's a perfect balance between uh, this spiritual dimension that I have looking out at Rockport Harbor with the mist rolling in mm. uh, at, or, and the, you know, the almost New York kind of atmosphere of West Palm Beach, which is so alive and so filled with, with uh, people from all over the world and, and uh, has a very young population and very, very artistic. <laughs>